name is Miranda Sanderson. I'm a CT MRI tech here at UNC Lenore Healthcare in the radiology department. I'm Amy Armstrong. I'm a radiologic technologist at UNC Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Lenore. My name is Tracy Edmondson. I am a radiologic technologist here at UNC Lenore and I am the supervisor of our radiology department. My name is Lawrence Stanley. I'm the informatics and imaging supervisor for UNC Lenore Healthcare. Patient interaction, actually. I enjoy the seeing the patients. If not daily, every few weeks here in an office, we get to. We see them frequently. You get a kind of relationship. I love all the subspecialties that radiology has in it. I'm currently registered in x-ray, CT, and MRI, and uphold all three skills. So I don't get bored. I'm able to constantly learn new things. If nothing new is coming out in one area, then I can learn in one of the other. I enjoy the fact that when I come to work, I'm not dedicated to one area. Um, I, we have our own department that we do procedures. I am a part of the ED. We are a part of the unit. Baby's in the nursery. Um, the operating room, to see procedures done in the operating room. I mean, I, I get enlightened to all kinds of activity, procedures throughout the entire hospital. It's an enjoyment to be able to see all things that happen all over the hospital, not just in one department. My name is Patty Barrow and I'm the Director of Imaging Services at UNC Lenore Healthcare. I would advise them to make sure that they are the their personality is someone who enjoys working with people, touching patients, helping patients. Um, radiology is very hands-on clinical work and you have to have a desire to want to help people and to provide the teamwork necessary. We work with nurses from all floors, we work with the ED, we work with all the medical staff, so you have to have an ability to, to be able to work with the patients along with the other members of the team. Being able to work effectively as part of a team I think is a very important attribute that all technologists should have. Um, there are a number of times throughout the day where technologists from all across the department will come together and help each other out when needed and it's a really nice really nice feeling to know that if you aren't working by yourself and you need some help, there's always someone around who is willing to come help. Probably my most memorable moment here um, would not be in my role as director. It would have been in a previous role as an ultrasound tech and we had some patient, we were having a patient to come in and it was a husband and wife and the office had not been able to detect a fetal heartbeat and the family was extremely emotional and we were very empathetic and listened to them and the father actually kind of said a prayer right before we started the exam and when we started the exam we found the heartbeat and the room was just elated. I mean it was an awesome experience to be a part of. My most memorable moment would have been about 20 years ago. I was working as an MRI tech at the time and on the schedule we had a three-year-old little girl uh, for an MRI of the lumbar spine pelvis and both of her legs, which is a pretty extensive study that would take at least two hours to complete. Having to lay inside of an MRI machine uh, completely still for two hours is pretty challenging for most adults to expect a small child to lay in a, such a strange machine that makes all sorts of noises for that length of time is pretty much asking for the impossible. And to be honest, at the time, I really was not optimistic about being able to complete the study. The little girl and her mom arrived on time for their appointment and I brought them back and started setting her up for the MRI exam. Uh, I remember her mom 
wanted to take some pictures of the MRI machine and also some pictures of the little girl uh, laying on the MRI table as we set her up for the test. To my amazement, two hours later, the exam was complete. The little girl never moved the muscle throughout the entire exam. She probably was the best patient I had ever had. So about a year ago, I was on my way home with my family from dinner and my son was in the back seat texting one of his friends when suddenly he leans up and he says, uh, my friend said that you did an MRI on her uh, a long time ago when she was little. And I said, oh, okay, well, I hope she's doing okay. And he said, yeah, and she wanted me to tell you thanks for the music. And also she wanted me to show you this. And he gives me his phone and on his phone there's this picture. And when I see that picture, it all just comes back. And I was just really, really touched uh, that she remembered that from such a long time ago. And it really made me uh, think and remember that as a healthcare worker, um, we, whether you spend five minutes or five hours with a patient, um, there's always that potential to leave a significant and positive impact that the patient carries, can carry with them for the rest of their lives. And that's a really good feeling.